Hello everyone, my name is Neomystic and welcome to this uh, next video on our RTS game with what uh, what Jesse is doing. Now in this video and in the couple next videos we're going to try to make something like this. This is kind of a wooden shack. Uh, you can see I didn't do the door right, the windows are kind of fine, this is fine. So I'm going to try to recreate this little thingy, I've got it in my project as well. I should probably open it to show you guys what it looks like in game. But yeah, this is what we're going to make. Now, this isn't so low pol as low poly as you would want it to be. Of course, this is one piece, one piece, one piece, one piece. But uh, it's not completely the way I would like it to be. Uh, I think I've got it here as well. There we go. So you can see it, this is basically the wooden shack, I made some easy simple doors here as well, uh, a nice little window so when you look at it from afar it looks like there's a window, you can see there's some kind of roof, but I would like to do this a little bit different for uh, this video. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. First of all, I'm going to go to a new project. There we go. Like I said, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. And the first thing that I'm going to do is delete what I don't need, which is the camera. I will need to light. It needs to be more like over there and I don't need the cube. Now I'm going to create a plane. In edit mode, rotate minus 90 so it looks like a wall and I'm going to grab it on the z-axis. Now I'm going to append, because I need to know, oh, I'm in edit mode, I can't append. I need to know how big this needs to be, how big my charter is going to be, so how big I want this uh, guy to be. I'm going to go to my dummy good, because that's the standard height that I'm using for all my charters. I'm going to import him, and there we go. So our charter is going to be that high, meaning... I want my wall to be something like this. I think that should be fine. Yes, that's like two and a half almost. Let's add in one more and I think that's two and a half. Yes, that should be two meters and a half tall. Now, why do I do two meters and a half? Because our character is two meters and I want our doors to be like 220, something like that. Also, make sure for this, it's not that important, but make sure that you've got the bottom side uh, on the zero point because if you put it somewhere here it's uh, going to be inside the ground once you put it into your game. Also depending on what kind of game you're making I would suggest that you add in a bottom layer as well. For example if you get slopes just extrude and uh, make it a little bit bigger so it looks like you can work with your slopes. If you get stairs, make them a little bit longer slopes so you can put them on the right location. Okay, so I need four of these. Well, in my case, I'll, I'll need four of these. So one, two, three, and four. I'm going to drag this one to the middle point if, I, if he wants to. Snap, selected to cursor. There we go. So that one is in the middle. I don't know why I did it wrong with these three, but that is the middle. So one, two, three, four. Now, why do I do this? I want to have a corner wall. I want to have a window. I want to have a door and I want to have a standard wall. Of course, I am going to ex make these ones longer and shorter as I go, but these are going to be the four basics. So I'm going to press N to get this bar, where it says item, I'm going to change this to door, this one to window, with no window, this one wall, and this one corner. And these are going to be the four basic ones that I'm going to work with in every model that I'm going to make. <coughs> Why is this? Because 
I want all my windows to be the same size, I want all my doors to be the same size. So if I want to add in that the door can open or close, if I have all the doors at the same size, I just need to make one door. Okay, so uh, let's add in a door. Something like that. And something like that. Maybe this door is too thin. Just maybe, so I'm going to take these SX and make them just a tiny bit bigger. I think that should be fine. Okay, so with those faces selected, I'm going to extrude and pull them in. I'm going to delete this face. And I'm going to make all of those merge together. So these three merge at last and merge at last. Okay, that's good. What I could also do is, because all these uh, unwrappings are going to be the same for this part, is select all of these, these two, and do mark seam there. Because all my doors are going to be a separate object from all the walls, and this corner, it doesn't matter how hard I change it, it's going to be looking like that. Okay, good, so that's my door, but as you can see, I can't see a thing, so I'm going to apply ambient occlusion in shading, and now you can see that that's the door. Okay, so that's done, door can come here, this one is called window, okay, so we give it a window, two lines like so, SX, and two lines in this way, I think something like that should be fine for the window okay so again merge at last it's basically the last point that you select that's where you will merge it to if you guys don't know how to model how to make this how to do all the things that i'm doing right here just let me know and i'll do a tutorial on that i think i already did but it's probably out of date so i'll make a new tutorial also, I'm sorry that I'm going so fast, but uh, this is basic stuff. Okay, so with all four of those selected and these edges, I am going to do mark seam. There we go. So that's that. Now, here is something that you'll probably say you're an idiot. This one is going to be the corner, so this is going to be a blank wall, this one is going to be the corner. I'm going to cut this one in half, I'm going to select that one and I'm going to grab it here. Uh, on itself it's not really necessary to do that, I mean this is just something that I do to uh, make it easy for me to model this all out. To, to get some edges in that look a, lot uh, a little bit nicer than other edges, but you don't really have to do this. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take this one, because I should actually be taking all of them. All of them, first these need to come here, then these, and I'm going to drag them out of the way, so off the, the screen. Now, as you guys saw on the image, let me show you guys again, it's, you can see the door, this is a corner piece, this is a corner piece, you can kind of see it, and this is one and one. So I'm going to basically just recreate this one, and I can show you guys what it looks like in the game as well in a second. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this one, I'm going to Shift D, duplicate it, I'm going to drag it to the middle, and now I'm going to decide how I want this to be. So for this one, I want to have maybe something like this. So if I have a wall in the back, and I want to have this window in the back, Shift D, rotate 180, because that's the back. This is kind of a good size for the little house that we're going to make. Well, I am going to make. The basic idea is this is a standard house. This is just for two people, a male and a woman, to sleep in. And it will have like a little table. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make the table yet. 
but uh, that's the basic idea. Of course, if you guys want to do something like get the inside wall, so if you go close enough, you can see inside the building, then by all means, you can do that. I'm, I actually should do that, so let's do that fast and uh, make this a nice little tutorial for how to do things like that. So I'm going to select this one, going to select all the faces, Shift D, going to drag them out, I'm going to select the middle face, I'm going to delete it. Now you can see I can look through my wall. Of course I will need to add in a window, but that can be done later. And uh, I'm going to select everything, I'm going to press spacebar and I'm going to say remove doubles doubles there four doubles has been have been removed but as you can see it all all the faces are pointing in that direction so in edit mode I'm, do, I'm going to do control n you can see it says inside and now you can see that this looks like it's on the outside everything that's bright lighter gray is going to be on the inside everything that's uh, outside everything that's darker like you can see here is going to be on the outside Okay, so now this one, again it's basically the same thing, select these three, shift D, drag them up, delete the inside face, select it all, go to your uh, point selection thing, remove doubles, and it's all done, control N, and there we go, it changed, and it's all fine. This one, of course you need to decide what size you want your walls to be. With, uh, with that I mean, if you have log walls, like really thick logs, you can't do it like this because that's going to look so fake. You'll have to round them off and stuff like that. But for this one, for the basic tutorial that we're, tutorials that we're doing now, this is just fine. Okay, so did I do Shift D? No, I didn't. Shift D. And I'm going to drag that here. Now normally if I press Ctrl N you can see nothing changes. If I select everything and Ctrl N nothing changes. So what we need to do is we need to select this face, Ctrl N and tap in inside. There. So now that wall is on the inside. This last wall is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to select all the faces, Shift E put them there, I'm going to select this edge, pull it in, this edge, pull it in. Okay, so that's fine. Now I need to select these faces because they're probably not right, definitely not right. Control N and you can see the same problem, so inside and there we go. So now I've got a house that I can look in from the inside as well as from the outside and in unwrapping you guys will see uh, what this is going to look like it's going to be a lot of fun to unwrap this as well okay so we've got all these walls again I want my door to be somewhere over here shifty because I forgot to duplicate it here I want the window to be next to it there. I want to have a window on the other side, so Shift D. Now it doesn't matter because basically everything is in the right uh, rotation now because we got both in and outside. Uh, I want to have a wall piece next to it. That's something that I'll need to do in a second. So I'm first going to take the wall RZ90 there, Shift D, RZ 180, so we've got those, there we go, and I'm going to make this all fit up, so there's no real problem here, of course I do need to have a wall piece, RZ 90, for, the both, for both the sides, and now as you can see, I've got the problem that the wall is on the wrong side so RZ 180 and there we go the wall is on the right side shift D 
and the same thing RZ180 and I'm probably going to have the same problem with this back one yes I do so this one RZ180 so you do need to rotate them okay so that starts to look like the outside of a house if you're zooming close enough in the game you can look inside and I will show you guys what I mean uh, where is it I think here yes okay so we've got our wooden house you can see it doesn't look too good it doesn't look too bad I'm going to press play and now yeah the lighting needs to be rebuilt I know now you can see that we're inside the game you can see the house I can't go through it I changed I turned that off but you guys will see how that works in a, a later video and if you zoom in like so you can see inside the house now of course seeing we want to be able to we made it so we can look inside the house we're going to make it so when you look inside the house from different angles you will see it in a different thing you can also make it so it bumps into this I'm not going to do that I am kind of proud of the wood that I made but okay so inside and you can see what's going on inside maybe you can put up a little light or something but yeah you can see what's happening on the inside of the building okay I'm also very sorry that I'm going so fast but this is basic stuff and uh, I want to put more time into the unwrapping and stuff like that which is going to be in the next video and uh, it's going to be a longer video as well so now I'm going to select all these walls only the walls and in tools I'm going to join them all together now you can see my uh, pivot point my starting point is right here I don't want that I want the point to be in the middle so I'm going to put that in the middle I'm going to select all the walls and there we go so now everything is in the middle and as you can see we've got so many vertices here so many edges uh, so many corners this one isn't even doing anything and uh, we do need to fix that so I'm going to take my pointy my point selection tool thingy and I'm going to merge them all at the last one you guys see that my corners I forgot to do something yeah I forgot to do something so when you're in here I'm going to select all of them remove doubles you can see 28 vertices have been removed and now you can see that the two walls are attached you could see a hole here that means that the walls weren't attached okay so now I can do this so these three then that one merge at last and this is basically just face control uh, this will reduce the size of the model and that's the only thing that I'm going for now on this side you see that I'm not taking this one uh, in this case this will one two these are two faces that I could hide if I really want no actually just one if I do this it would hide only one face so uh, I think this this looks cleaner so I'm not going to do that I am going to do this on the other side as well there and it's an RTS model so uh, you don't need to put in too many details into this there we go I need to do the same on the outside this is early cleaning up there that one that one these two and these so last corner Ta -da. okay so in this case it would remove two faces just because I uh, I did it like well in this style okay so the next thing that we need to do is give it a roof and uh, the beams because as you can see I added in some beams to have some more visual detailing to our model 
and uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. Now this is going to be a very very simple way of doing this. Don't expect me to make something really cool. This is going to be really really fast. Now I'm um, I'm doubting if I should r use round beams or square beams, but uh, I am going to use the round ones. Those will look nicer on the inside. So I'm going to take a circle. I'm going to put it at uh, let's say eight. There. I'm going to take these scale them out to make it more square square there we go i'm going to select only this with l grab it to the side where i want it to be i want it to be on the outside point it's a personal preference to have that one on the outside point and i'm going to scale them in now as you guys can see if i put it on the outside point you don't see too much on the inside. So now you should see things happening on the inside as well as on the outside. Okay, I'm going to extrude this one. There we go. And you can see it's not in the right rotation, so Control N, and there we go, now it is. So if I smooth, shade, smooth, if I do that, you can see it looks like a legit beam. Okay, so I'm going to do a little time lapse, or no, I'll, I'll do it together with you guys. I still have a little bit of time, I still have 10 minutes, so I'm just going to put these all over the model L, Shift D, just going to put them on the four corners, and there you have it. So those are going to be the four corner beams. Like you could see in the model, I also have beams going like this. So that's going to be the next step to do. I'm going to take this one, L, Shift D, rotate 90, and I'm going to drag it to the middle point. There, SX to scale it up. And it doesn't matter if they flow into each other, not in my case at least. Because in this case, if they flow into each other, first of all, I'm going to take these ones, so this entire edge, and I'm going to go to that point, and I'm going to drag them down, like so. So basically, you can see them lock into each other, but uh, you don't see them going anywhere. Okay, I'm going to do the same on all four of those. So this button, come on, this button, going to drag them down, and I really hate that my pivot point never goes to where I want it to go. Here, I mean my rotation point, there, see? Grab C, there we go. So all of them are lowered, but we forgot to do one little important thing. Basically, if you do this, we're going to unwrap this in one whole thing. So that means that we need to take everything and uh, mark the seams. I should have done that before I started because now I'm having the problem that I'll need to go inside the model to do this. See, and I don't even know if I hit it. So, uh, mark seam. As you guys see, I'm trying to take a point that you don't see in the game. I mean, a point where you won't see that it's a, a, a whatchamacallit, a texture that's pasted on top of a circle thing. Now, as you guys probably noticed, is that over here, these unwrappings are still fine, but uh, the outside doesn't have those little things. That's not a big deal, that's not a big problem, but here we do need to do those two as well. Okay, so now for this one, I am going to wait for just a second. I'm going to take those four, 
come on. So those four, not that one. I'm going to extrude them and merge at center. There. So we have a nicely looking dot in the middle. I'm going to take these, create a face, create a face, and create a face. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Extrude, merge, center, and I'm going to create a face. Now before I'm going to put this one all over the, the model, I am first going to mark the seams to make it easier. Uh, again, I want my seam to be somewhere that you barely see or never will see. And you guys start to notice there's a lot of lines here. So mark, seam, that's going to be the rotation point, the, the unwrapping point. So I'm going to do those. And I think I went to the inside, so those. There we go. Now I need to take this one with L, Shift D, and I'm going to drag it out to the back side. Now you can see that it's not so perfect, so we can drag it down. There we go. And that's better. Now I'm going to take this one again, rotate 90, grab it to the middle, grab it to the side, something like that. So it's outside and inside, S on the Y axis. And I'm going to leave him hang out just a tiny little bit. It's more than I did on the other one, but not a big deal. Shift D and there we go. So we basically made our house. Now how, how to do the roof, I think it's self explanatory, -nary, blah, blah, blah. How to do that? I will do one little thing. Again, this beam, Shift D, going to drag it up, SC, and I'm going to scale it down to a size that I like, which is this size. I'm going to drag it down so it's invisible. I'm going to take this one, L, Shift D, and I'm going to drag this one up right about grab C there so that it all hooks into each other. I'm going to take this one L shift D and I'm going to drag him here. Now the good thing is because I unwrapped them all these faces are going to be on the right location. Okay, so we did this, and you can see it starts to look like what I wanted it to look like in the game. So it starts to look like this little house thingy, as you can see. Just a little bit different because I used other beams, but uh, it doesn't matter because we're going to use the LOD system. Now, I think if I by doing this, I kind of showed you guys how to do it. So I'm not going to do everything. I'm going to end the video here. And uh, in the next video, we're going to, uh, because I'm going to finish the roof off camera, we're going to unwrap this and we're going to start texturing this, which will be a lot of fun. I'm also going to add in a door, which is going to be a separate object. It's going to be on the same, uh, in the same model, but it is going to be a separate object. And why am I going to do the unwrapping uh, on a separate video? Because one, I'm in 30 minutes now and I want to keep them to 30 minutes. And two, because uh, it's, it's going to be a special kind of unwrapping so we can have a clear view of what is where and how to do what. Uh, for example, I'm going to take all these walls, all these pieces, both on the inside and the outside, and I'm going to unwrap them in the same view. So I'm going to go to front view, I'm going to do unwrap from view, and that's going to be all these faces. 
Why am I going to do that? So if you look on the outside or the inside, for example, this is a, a, uh, a wooden plank, then both on the inside and the outside, that's going to be a plank. If you don't do it like that, it could be that the inside has completely different planks and on itself, that's not a big deal. But uh, I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to little things like this. So, okay, I'm going to add in a couple more beams. I'm going to, for example, for this window and for the door or and this window. And uh, after that, so tomorrow we'll uh, do the unwrapping. I'll see you guys then. Bye, everyone.